Hello, uh, my name is Josh Garrison. You guys have hired me uh, because the University of Akron is curious whether or not their students are happy with their uh, email uh, and the level of satisfaction uh, that they're having with their email systems. Uh, Akron is committed to providing students with the highest quality educational experience. Uh, in order to do that, student email is, is integrated into the entire system. Uh, you know, through grades, uh, being able to communicate properly with the teachers, um, uh, and etc. It's uh, very important. Uh, recently, um, you administrators have wondered whether or not students have been uh, using this system and what their perception of the system is, uh, whether or not they're satisfied or dissatisfied with the system. Um, this study that I'm presenting to you was done uh, to attain uh, the students levels of satisfaction with that system um, in order to improve the quality of the service, increase usage statistics and other things. Um, we're only going to be talking about the students' levels of satisfaction uh, with the service um, and their choice to or not to use it. Uh, any kinds of suggestions, uh, the amount of time using it, the visual appearance, uh, and similar factors are not going to be taken into consideration in this report. Uh, as we can use server metrics to, to determine those kinds of things without having to, to actually have a poll. Um, Yunin and uh, Yaman and Lee, excuse me, said the benefit and importance of email were recognized by all types of organizations, including educational institutions. Um, as e-learning is becoming more and more and more prevalent, uh, you know, people like me uh, that take classes uh, from home while working for you, fine gentlemen, uh, wouldn't be possible without. Uh, without you know being able to have e-learning and things like that um, because of the access that it gives us. Um, Alizda and Sadigi said one of the important changes which is which has happened during the information era has been the change from teacher centered learning to teacher centered to learning centered education. The emergence of electronic learning has further uh, facilitated the wide adoption of learner-centric education and other changes in educational practices. It's given more room for students to maneuver and has also helped them to become more independent. Uh, student email helps students stay in contact with each other as well as their professors and allows the university to, to disseminate information easier uh, to the students. Uh, now how this was done uh, was um, I combined stratified sampling uh, using two different sub subgroups. Uh, and systematic sampling, asking every third potential candidate. 16 male and 16 female students uh, exiting the Polsky building uh, who were willing to participate in the survey were asked the following question. How happy with, are you with your current student email uh, as they were leaving the building? They were able to respond with any one of the four responses. Very, mostly, unhappy, or doesn't use it. Uh, data was collected from an equal amount of male and female students to ensure that the, the opinions of both genders were properly represented. Um, <clears throat> it will be analyzed using relative frequency, which is the percentage of time uh, an answer occurs. Uh, we find that by dividing the total amount of each response by the number of participants. Um, we're not concerned with the gender so much uh, as we just want to increase levels of satisfaction here. Um, figure one here uh, shows that uh, the overall opinions of the university email systems, 53.1% of students surveyed were uh, happy with the system. 18.8% of students indicated that they were mostly happy with the system. 9.4% said they were unhappy. And 18.8% of students said they did not use the service. Um, figure two here is the male and female participants. 43.8% uh, of males and 62.5% of females said they were very happy with the system. 18.8% of males and 18.8% of females were mostly happy. 12.5% of males and 6.3% of females were unhappy. 25% uh, of males and 12.5% of females responded that they do not use the email system. Um, so what does that all mean? Uh, well, looking at the results, um, 69.9% of the students surveyed were happy with the system as it is if you combine those first two categories. That leaves 9.4% of students unhappy and a very large 18.8% of students not using it. 
Uh, furthermore, more female students versus male students expressed that they were very happy. Uh, well, the numbers for mostly happy stayed the same. Um, uh, more males are not using the system than females, uh, which seems, uh, you know, like there may be something off there uh, with them. It's more popular amongst female users, I think would be the best way to say that. Um, now that those uh, statistics in, what can, what can we do now that we have this? Well, first of all, uh, we need a survey of a much larger scope. Probably didn't need to take this uh, uh, you know, out amongst all of the students to get a much broader uh, range of opinions on things. Um, <clears throat> the informa information technology department should just send out an email uh, with more comprehensive questions, seeking to determine uh, the reasons why negative responses were received uh, to begin with, uh, and then, you know, what we think we could do to improve. Uh, and once we have a survey back with much more in-depth questions, uh, we can implement whatever changes seem reasonable uh, from the student suggestions, and then reconduct that survey six months later uh, in order to reassess student satisfaction uh, with the system. Uh, and really, uh, that's about it. We need more information to, to really recommend anything else. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, once again, I'm Josh Garrison. I can be reached at 330-329-7442 or jgarrison9791 at gmail.com. And of course, all this information is available uh, you know, in uh, the appendix of the paper that I've passed out to you. Thank you for your time today.